Hi, I'm Ivan from Webosh, and in this video, I'll show you how to use the file delete module. Something you may not be aware of is that deleting files in Drupal isn't as simple as deleting a piece of content. There's a lot of mechanics behind deleting a file because files are often attached to an article or a basic page. So they often reference other pieces of content. So you really can't just go in there and delete a file. Now Drupal has this concept of like um, a permanent and temporary status of a file. So when a file is is permanent, and I'll show you that in this video, files won't, won't be deleted. But when the status changes to temporary, then after six hours, which is the default, but you can change this settings, after six hours, after cron is run from six hours, then it'll automatically go in there and delete files. But if you wanna go straight away and delete files right now, well, it doesn't quite work as simple as deleting an article or basic page. The first module I wanna show you is file delete. So if you wanna learn more about the module, just head over to drupal.org slash project slash file underscore delete. And what I'll do is I will jump over to my terminal as I often have it. Let me just make sure this is the correct thing. Yep, it is. And then I will download it using Composer. So just Composer require Drupal slash file underscore delete. Now give that a second or two. I am running a uh, Composer 2, so it is pretty quick. And it's also been cached because I tested this out earlier. Okay, so we have gone ahead and downloaded the module. And now let me jump over to my site. And then we'll go to extend and then we'll jump and search for file here we go file delete and we'll simply install it so just give that a second or two to install and then once that's installed i will prepare my files which i'll be uploading let me bring that up so here i've got a few test files that i can go ahead and install so i'll just give that a second to install and and then if we go to content and then, and then files, from this page, when you upload a file, you should see it appear on this page, okay? So what I'll do is I'll go to content, add content, and let me select article. I will enter in test article, put in a bunch, bunch of basic text, and then I will drag over one of my great library of assets. What, what is this article.jpg? Yep, that will do. We will just upload this and I will give it the alternative text of article text. And then we click on save. So far, so good. And then here you can see an article with an, with an image attached. Okay, now if we go to content, go to files, we should see our image right here. Now, this, this files page will list out any files or images which have been attached to an image field or a file field. So how do we go ahead and delete this file? Okay, and, and here you can see the, uh, the uh, status which I was uh, mentioning called permanent. If we have a look in here, we can see where it's actually used because Drupal, Drupal treats this as a managed files. Now, to use file manage, we have to modify this page. And luckily, um, this page is just a view. So if we hover up the top here and then click on view article, sorry, no, what is it? Edit view, sorry. We click on add in the fields, we need to add a custom field. And this custom field is called link to delete file. We add that link in and you can go ahead and change the label. You can even change the text that you want displayed. Save and then we can scroll down and we can see this file right here called delete. Let's go ahead and save that. And then once this is saved, we can see 
our link to delete file right here. Now, if we were to click on this, it will take us to a confirmation page. Perfect. And um, then if we click on delete file, it's going to spit up an error. And it's going to say the file article.jpg JPEG can't be deleted because it is used by the following modules file. And essentially what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the actual database. What's happening? Let me jump over. So this is the, so the tables on the right, I hope you can see this in the video, but I can't zoom this in, uh, which is unfortunate, but these are, these are just Drupal tables. And if we look at the file managed, we can see the actual file. And the reason why it's called file managed is that um, a copy of the file is on the file system, but it's also managed by Drupal. So Drupal's aware of it. But most importantly, it actually tracks the usage. So if we search for, if we filter just by file, we can see that this file ID one is being managed. So that means it's actually attached to, to some article via a field. So that's why we cannot delete it. So let's go ahead and edit this and click on remove and save it. And we've gone ahead and deleted the file. So we should be good, right? We go here, we have a look here. No, it's not there. Awesome, simple. We should be able to go to content, files, and then click on delete click on delete file. And again, it's saying it cannot be deleted. And most importantly, if you click on this used in, this pretty much tells you um, what's, in, what's in the file usage table. And you can see that it's still attached to the test article article. Why is that? Well, the reason for that is the article has uh, revisions turned on. So the image has been removed from the current published revision, but it's still referenced in the other revisions. So we need to go ahead and edit the test article, go to revisions. If we click on this first revision, you can see that it's there. And so if we go ahead and delete it, now we have deleted the revision. And what you need to do, and I figured this out while I was testing this stuff out, let me just clear this up. You need to then run, well, let me just do that in a second. Let's go back to content, files, and here you can still see used in one place. Why is that? Well, you need to rebuild the site cache, give that a second or two. And then if we refresh, this used in should be zero. And then we click on delete, click on delete file. It has been deleted, but it's still there. And if we look in the file system, so let's jump to another one and it is right here. We can still see, we can still see our article is here in the files directory. Now, the status has been changed to temporary. So Drupal will delete this in the next six hours when cron is run. And if we go to configuration, and I believe, yep, configuration, and it is file system, you can change it here. So the shortest time span is six hours all the way up to three months, or you can even tell Drupal to not delete any temporary files, which I wouldn't recommend because um, you may run out of disk space, but you can. You can actually tell it to stop deleting all files. Now, this module, yes, it works well, but one limitation, it doesn't delete the file straight away. So if you want to delete it straight away, what I'm going to do now is show you another workaround using Drush, which will delete the file quickly and instantly. So let's jump over to our terminal. And let me jump over to the next tab. And if we just run Drush, okay, we're going to get a whole bunch of options here. Let's type in grep. What is it? Entity, I believe. Oh, no, can't spell. Delete entity. Okay, so it is this delete entity. Okay, so if I type in 
Drush. Help, just to make sure it's all working. So what we can do is we can use Drush Entity Delete, then the actual um, the entity type, which will be file, and then the ID. Now be careful with this because if you if you just type in entity delete shortcut, which is the entity name, you can easily just delete all your content. So be very careful with this. So what I want to do is now show you how to get the actual ID. So there are a few ways. If we jump back here and then we click on say this um, zero places, you'll see in the actual tool, in the address bar, sorry, you have admin, content, files, usage, and then the ID, which is one. This being the first file, and then if we jump into the database and refresh, well, no, let's go to file manage here. We can also see FID, file ID is right there. So all we need to do is type in Drush. Well, let me bring that up to the, to the top. One sec, so you can see it. Okay, Drush, file, and then ID one. Then it is gonna go ahead and delete it. And then if we, Go back and refresh. Okay, the file looks gone. Well, technically the row from the tables deleted. And if we look in the database table, we can see that the row has been deleted, perfect. Now let's check out the file on the file system to make sure that it's actually deleted. Here is article.jpg. And if we list the directory, you can see that it's no longer there. So it has been deleted. So that is a quick overview of file delete, and also how to, how to delete files using Drush. If possible, um, if you need to delete a whole bunch of files, just go ahead and, and you also want to delete the files straight away, then look at using Drush. If you want to give your editors the ability to delete files, which will then be set to a temporary status and then deleted in the future, depending on how your site has been configured, then look at using file delete. So that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about Drupal, just head over to webwash.net. And also don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I have to say it. And that's it from me. Thank you so much. And I'll catch you next time.